Okay, so here's my next steel. Some people know, some people don't. I'm swapping over to an LS motor uh, for this season. I have LS stuff everywhere. Um, that's what's in my Nova. Uh, had good success with it. Uh, I just like them. I, I've been messing with them for 10 or 12 years and I had to step back to use this small block. Like I, I literally had to jump back in time. So I will tell you it cost a fortune to swap an LS over to a carburetor. Well, not necessarily a carburetor, to a distributor. So it's a uh, GM performance parts, 88958679. Okay, their front cover. This thing is close to 700 bucks. It, uh, it has a provision for a fuel pump. Uh, All Star makes one. There's no provision for a fuel pump. It's, it's just the distributor. So you have to run a belt driven pump. I did not want to run a belt driven pump. That's, that's a whole nother big price I was trying to step away from, but it's got a timing pointer. It's clearanced where it needs to be clearanced for a double row timing chain. Um, it's got a bronze, bu bronze bushing in it for a Ford 302 distributor. So it, it uses some Ford parts. Um, it uses a cam eccentric that rides on the front of the cam and it uses this lobe to catch the fuel pump arm. Well, I know that looks like a long distance cause it is. That drives a Ford fuel pump. So Ford distributor gear, Ford distributor, Ford fuel pump. So um, it's a cool piece. This eccentric is cool. Uh, it, it's pretty heavy. So that's, that's kind of, it's surprising how heavy that is, but it comes with different shims for, I think different timing chains. Um, let's see, four color coded spacers and it does pretty good on telling you what, what they're for. Um, It uses those spacers for, yes, whether you're using a stock cam gear, an LS2 cam gear, they want you to use uh, a hex adjust true roller from Cloy's, which I won their product sponsorship, so I hope to get that from them. Uh, it gives you the part number, it gives you part number on Rollmaster, so you will follow that spacer. Um, it gives you what your firing order is, uh, all your torque specs. Uh, that's kind of what the front looks like with that eccentric on it. it it's, it's a cool piece. Um, it tells you where you have to get the other parts. So it tells you which fuel pump and which dampener from ATI, which I had to buy that. That's another 400 something dollars. The water pump was another 500 and something dollars, but you have to have these two. There's no way to, no way around it. Uh, you have to drill your cam retainer in two spots so it will splash oil on the distributor and fuel pump. Uh, I mean, it's a cool deal. The only other way to get away from that is run a CT525 crate motor, and then you can run a coil on plug and you don't have to have or individual coils, you don't have to have a distributor conversion, but with a competition I'm against, I wanted something bigger than a CT525, which is just a 6.2, basically. Um, it's a cool kit. Uh, GM seems to be the only one, like I said, that makes the one with the fuel pump in it, the fuel pump provision. So I will get into the water pump, the hub or balance or whatever you want to call it and some of the other stuff in the next one so same as last time this isn't something paid i just want to show you guys some of these parts because i wanted to physically see something in somebody's hand and i couldn't find a video for that um, it was either installed or 
this kind of picture. Nobody took it out of the box. So that's that's something else cool to check out. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Um, I'll put this in a uh, like in a series by itself, so you don't really have to hunt for the stuff. Thanks for checking it out.